the, the, the pizza has arrived. Wait a minute. The story doesn't start that way. Ah, yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Ayo, let's begin at the beginning. You. Good for you. I'm not deaf. Right, just dumb. You jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, the boss has assigned this story to the two of us. If you don't come into the theater with me and do your part... So, you don't think you can do it alone? I think I'm more than capable. You don't say. Dan Murray, I'm going to go into that theater and write a Pulitzer Prize story by myself. You hear me? You're gonna leave me out here in the cold in the dead of autumn? I hope you freeze. Hmm, how can I keep myself warm? Hey, yo, Dan. It was fabulous. I did so many interviews that we're gonna have to ask the boss for more space. Fitz Randolph, Professor Fly, Chrome Ha, Eva Morte, the poet, the Grim Reaper, and uh, the short guy from Monster Without a Cause. Fascinating. Yeah, you know, the one from... Uh, hey, what's that? It's antifreeze. Dan Murray, have you been out here drinking while I was in there doing your <sighs> job? That's it. The byline is going to be mine and mine alone. They can fire you for all I care. Mm -hmm. What's more, if they ask me for a shovel to help dig your grave, I'll be more than happy to help. And if... Hey, what's he up to? Hmm. Big Albert. In Fitzrandall's office. That's odd. <gasps> you were saying? We have to go in there. My thoughts exactly. Finally, real investigative journalism. Come on, move it. Sweetheart. My thing is sports writing. If he hits you with a baseball bat, call me. And that's how it all started for Liz Allaire. She decided she was going into that office with or without Dan's help. Once got my head caught under the hood of my father's car. Anne-Marie, my smart sister, was being Tarzan. Queenie, my pretty sister, was Jane. I was Cheetah, and the car was the crocodile. Toby the Third, Fitz Randolph's pet, is inside. He has a saw for a hand. How uncomfortable. Hi, oh, miss. I thought you were going. Mr. Fitzrandolph. Now, come and sit beside me, Miss Allaire. I never imagined you were such a party girl. Me? No. I'm still here because it's so pleasant here, don't you think? Uh, you don't need an excuse, miss. My friend Murray's intern is always welcome. Oh. Actually, I was referring to your unusual style of dancing. Oh, I see. Have I offended you? Yes. No. Maybe. It's just that... What about my style of dancing? Well, you're not accustomed to dancing in public.
I've never danced in public, but I look quite good in the mirror. Then don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If I hadn't believed in myself when I was young, I wouldn't be where I am today. Are you insinuating that I'm not a good dancer? No, although society may not be prepared to see a woman move so many parts of her body so rapidly and with so much independence with respect to the rhythm. Aha! I'm a feminist. Now where were we? How is it that you're sitting here by yourself? I love parties, but when you get to be my age... Since I'm the host, I can't go to bed. But at least here it's quiet. In our interview earlier, I forgot to ask you... Do you get along with the stars of your super productions? Well, I try to be a good employer, but it's not always easy. Fame goes to their heads. They do strange things. Big Albert has... Yes? Yes what? Big Albert, what about him? Uh, is he feeling all right? Miss, if this keeps up, I will end up understanding why they call you Looney Liz. How's business going? Support your answer. MKO is still the largest movie studio in the country, and the world. We have made horror movies fashionable, and as long as that continues, nothing can touch us. Horror movies have allowed monsters to gain acceptance in society. Are you proud of that? Not completely accepted, miss. It's true that we aren't persecuted anymore and that we finally have the same rights as everybody else, but unfortunately, there are still many minds to change. So many people judge other people by their appearance. Donations, foundations, charity events. Do you have any time left for yourself? <laughs> I'm just doing my part for the less fortunate, miss. Without the little people below, the, the cream, cream of society, society would, would sink, sink to, the, to bottom. the bottom. How did you know I was going to say that? I didn't. Disconcerting. Thank you for your time. I'm nobody's intern. Oh, pardon me. It's just that you're so young and Murray is so... So, you know what I mean, uh, so Murray. Why does everyone like Dan? I don't want to seem arrogant, but Murray is like me. We're both self-made men, and we both have kept our common touch. Dan is a sports writer. How do you know him? I'll only say one thing. The Los Angeles Freaks. Uh. I'm the owner. How nice. The baseball team, miss. I bought it years ago and Murray comes to all the games. Dan's not worth talking about so much. I'm gonna take a walk. Uh, just one thing, miss. As you're probably already aware, I know some of the best doctors in the country, including psychiatrists. I have a cousin who's a veterinarian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've observed that, that you sometimes say disconcerting things. Yes, I've done a lot of reading. Uh, yes, yes, of course. It's, um, take the vegetable soup, for example. Poor thing. Haven't you had dinner? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I, I won't keep you any longer. Cons, I can't go into the hall that leads to Fitz Randolph's office while he's right there next to it. Pros, he gets along with Dan. This is the idea. Bad idea. Good. Bad. Jerk. Lunatic. Dan Murray, are you telling me that you do not intend to go into the mansion or to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? In a nutshell. Well, okay then. Okay. Good. Good. But Liz Allaire was not a woman to give up easily. And she decided to convince Dan to get Fitz Randolph away from the hall. what Dan's got in there.
once got my head caught under the hood of my father's car. Anne Marie, I would. I'll get him to take Fitz Randolph away from the hall, by golly. What's in the trunk, Dan? For you, the unknown. Not so, because I don't want to open it. Better for you, because I wasn't going to let you. Then everyone's happy. Extremely. Good. Good. I like it closed, because then it's like it's not there. Ayo, hey Dan. So how are you doing? Better than you, my dear. When the boss finds out who did all the interviews, you're going to be in hot water. You won't find out. Liz Allaire's no stool pigeon. Or is she? Sometimes I blurt out things without meaning to. You wouldn't dare. Try me. So, what exactly did you do wrong? I met you. You must have done something wrong for the boss to take you off your beloved sports section and put you on the society beat. Were you drunk on the job? I never drink, my dear. Never. You wrote something that didn't follow the paper's editorial line. Always. I write what I feel like, however and whenever I want. <gasps> you killed someone. Listen, honey, if I wanted to commit murder, you'd be the first to know. Actually, I could care less what you did. Fascinating. Why don't you help me get Fitz Randolph away from the hall? Because I bet half my salary on the fight tonight, and in a little while they'll be announcing the winner. That's no excuse. Come on, I only need you for five minutes. It's a shame that I can't help you. A real shame. You missed the fight because they sent you here as punishment. Do you confirm that? That's not the worst. Mr. Boss, set it up so they won't let me into the stadiums, racetracks, and arenas. They turn the faucet off. Gosh, I can't miss Friday. Manny Hammerboy Brown against Rico the Italian Stallion Sandretti. I would do anything to be there. You bet money on a fight. Tell me more. Jim Bad Blood Dixon against Ron Hellman Pearl Boy. Small potatoes, at least compared to next Friday. Let's change the subject. Careful with the antifreeze, it makes your complexion look all pasty. A jab to the left, it's pumpkin punch. A jab to the right, have you been drinking antifreeze? No way. I just rubbed a little on my face. It was cold. I hope you freeze. To your health. 